getting off of the KTX in Seoul. Um, next few days I'll be preparing everything to go to China, doing a few more science videos. So, something I'd also like to point out about sound. A lot of people know, they understand that in space there is no... Okay, wait, 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 stop. You see that? That, that is called an armillary sphere. An armillary sphere. This is very interesting. Because what this is, is it's like a clock. It shows the night sky throughout the year. What's really cool about this one is that it's automatic. It actually has mechanisms where it continues to move throughout the year. That's why it is a uh, it is a national treasure here. I also noticed earlier today that it is not only here, it's on the back of the 10,001. And the reason for this is also why we have this guy on the front. This guy, he he was he was like single-handedly responsible for all of the science and arts in Korea at the time that he was around. I mean, he is the person responsible for creating the Korean alphabet, which is the easiest one to learn in the world, in my opinion. So yeah, that's really cool. Anyway, so this is a good way to look at the night sky. If you look at this, it makes sense that people thought the Earth was the center of the universe. I mean, if you think about it, the night sky moves in a very uniform man manner, one, one that we can predict. We can put it on a map like this. But the planets, that's the key. That's, that's what makes it not possible, because the planets move in such an erratic way that even though this predicts the constellations so well, it can't account for the planets. And that's how we first got that idea of, hmm, Maybe we're not the center of the universe. Kind of cool. <laughs>